We have a special guest. He is running in Wisconsin's first district to unseat Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House. It's Randy Bryce, known as the Iron Stats. Randy, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Oh, it's good to see you. All right, fantastic. Now, I talked with you a couple weeks ago on my, the Jimmy Dore show. It was uh, it made me feel a lot better about you. I didn't know anything about you until <laughs> I talked to you. And everybody, okay. And uh, so you're a real progressive. You've, you supported Bernie Sanders in the primary, correct, in 2016? Absolutely. He, uh, the... The union I belong to, the iron workers, they came out in support of Hillary before the primary. And he called me up. I was actually on a construction site working on a Northwestern Mutual Tower downtown Milwaukee. And he invited me to speak at his rally. And I, I didn't hesitate to. I said, yes, absolutely, I would. I'd love to. And I, I thought, you know, here's a presidential candidate calling a construction worker on a job site at his lunch break. And not only that, but he asked if there were if there were any picket lines around where he could you know actually go walk a picket line. So when I I get a presidential candidate not only inviting me to to go and and say a few words at his his rally, but also somebody that's interested in walking on a picket line, you better believe I'm going to get behind somebody like that and help support him. Okay, yeah, I mean that, and so Bernie's also returned the favor, correct? He's endorsed you. He, he has, and and we had an amazing rally uh, this past Saturday. He came into Racine. Um, thousands of people showed up. We packed it. There were two overflow rooms. Both of those were filled. Uh, it, it was a, an amazing amount of energy. And then we grabbed a, a bite to eat afterwards, invited some local activists um, a couple blocks away. So it's, uh, we've, both been, we've both been in touch. So now, is Paul Ryan, is he nervous? Is your campaign making him nervous? Is that kind of energy? Is there any signs that he's nervous? Well, they, they take swings at us every week. On a weekly basis, they come after us. And everybody else's race, like for the last decade, I've, I've tried to help them at least get them started when they wanted to run against Paul Ryan. He hasn't had a serious challenger since he's been in. This has been going on 20 years. Um, Congressman Mark Pocan has called their campaign the first serious challenge he's ever had to face. So when they came out swinging, I mean, within the first two weeks after we launched our video, and it's it's been pretty constant since then, um, it shows that they are scared and they have every reason to be concerned. So now when I talked to you last time, you uh, confirmed to me that you are uh, strongly for a lot of progressive positions. For instance, mm -hmm. um, you're for Medicare for all, correct? Correct. And you're for a $15 minimum wage. Right. And, and free state college, correct? Correct. Okay, so those would be big issues. And those are hard for most Democrats to answer those questions, right? They'll want to talk about access to health care or mm -hmm. access to education, which is not the same thing as what you're supporting. So, right. you know, uh, you're probably going to have to fight against your own party to get those things done, right? Okay. Um, so are you, because a lot of people have told us, a lot of Democrats have said that they're for those things. Barack Obama famously saying he was going to help unions and he was going to put on a comfortable right. shoe and, and he was, he wouldn't pass a bill that didn't have a public option. And he let us down on all those things. So mm -hmm. how can we tell, tell something to the audience of progressives so they can believe that you're going to actually do what you say you're going to do? Well, these are things that we. I was just informed earlier today that DCCC came out and they're advising candidates not to, um, not to be so much in favor of Medicare for all. And, and I was asked if that's going to change my opinion, and my answer is no. That's part of the reason. I mean, we we said where we we stood very early on in our campaign, and when it comes to things like not taking any money from Wall Street, not taking any money from the fossil fuel industry. Um, Support of Medicare for all is something that I'm going to stand up for strong, and it's because of standing up strong that I feel that that we are being so successful. I mean, our fundraising numbers have been phenomenal, um, and that's as a result. You know, last year, our last quarter, 74 percent of every contribution that came in was under $200, and that's 1.2 million dollars. Um, a lot of money coming in in small increments, and, and that's the same thing. That's something else I see, I see in common with Senator Sanders' campaign. Um, it, that I took from him is to tell people where you stand from early on and and don't fall back from that. I think that's that's what we're missing too much in politics these days are people that are saying one thing, then when they go to DC, they do something else. And I'm not a career politician. Uh, this is all I know is, you know, I've been here for the past 20 years while Paul Ryan's been getting to know the lobbyists, billionaires and special interests in DC. I've been back here struggling with my neighbors and, and my neighbors are the ones that are gonna send me there and we're going to find some other line of work for Paul Ryan to get into. All right. Well, you know, we we support that effort uh, certainly. Now you had you do have an opponent in the primary, Kathy Myers. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Correct me if I'm wrong. Did, did, did she, she? She didn't support Bernie in the primary, right? Was she a Hillary person in the primary? I, I believe um, she ran as a to be a Hillary delegate. Right. Okay. But uh, would you consider her a progressive also? Um, her ideas seem progressive to me. Absolutely. She uh, she has said that you won't debate her. Is that true? That's absolutely false. Um, we've stated several times that um, when it, when we see the names, you know, who's going to be on the ballot, we're we're willing to debate everybody that's on that that's going to be on the uh, the ballot. We, we look forward to something like this. Well, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, I I think a good Democrat, two progressives debating would be fantastic. So sure, we. But the thing is, right now, is that we don't even know um, for sure what the uh, what the lines are going to be like. We're waiting to see. Too. Uh, part of the reason is, you know, is somebody else going to get in? We got in early to try to build up as much momentum as we can, um, but we don't know what the if the lines are going to change with the the court coming before the Supreme Court as well. Okay, so so you know, uh, uh, progressives. Um, I'm in touch with the progressive community, and uh, which is why I wanted to get you on because a lot of them were suspect of you, and I'm like, well, Bernie's endorsing him, and he endorsed Bernie, and he's for these things. Why are you still suspect of him? Progressives, that's what I'm saying to them. And they say back to me that you are, um, when you announce that a lot of uh, corporate Democrats immediately backed you, people like uh, David Brock, for instance, Cher Blue, Peter Dow, Joy Ann Reed, uh, Neera Tandon even tweeted support for you. Now, is that just because they want to get rid of Paul Ryan? Because they're certainly allergic to progressive policies. Right. No, I've, um, I've, I think I've communicated with Nira. I've, you know, I've seen her on a, on a late night show, and I, I sent a message. You know, I think I thought you did well um, as far as handling the subjects. But I, I've never talked to David Brock. Um, I know Cher Blue put some of our our stories out. Um, I see that as as people just wanted to get behind us to to get rid of Paul Ryan, because for our campaign to work and and to go after somebody like Paul Ryan, I don't see us as you know like having necessarily Bernie people, Hillary people. It's all Randy people. And and we're coming together. That was that was the vision I had. Is let's let's do this like we're driving a car. We keep our, our eyes on the road in front of us. Look back the rearview mirror every once in a while. But let's stay focused on the road that's that's going to take us to victory. Randy Bryce, the Iron Staff, running to unseat Paul Ryan in the first district in Wisconsin. Uh, thanks for taking time with us and good luck in your campaign. Thank you. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. There's a whole hour and a half of aggressive progressives waiting for you at the Young Turks Network. Become a member and get access to all the content.